Hi boys and girls. I hope you're all doing well at home. Um, I wanted to make a jellyfish with you. I love to make all different kinds of things. This is kind of a fun, fun thing to do. Um, and uh, I know that Mrs. Bobber and Mrs. Johnson were talking to you about different sea creatures. And so the jellyfish, um, you're gonna make his head and tentacles and arms. Um, we'll go right here. So I'm going to show you how to do that if you would like to do that with me tonight. So in order to make our jumpy fish, you can either use a paper plate. If you don't have a paper plate, you can use a piece of paper. And I'm just going to cut my paper plate right in half, right down the middle. You can have mom or dad help you with that if you need to. You may not have a white paper plate. You might have something left over. This is um, something that I had left over from a, a party that I had at, at my house. And so I just uh, took this plate and turned it this way. You may have something hanging around your house that you can use um, for, for his head. Uh, so these are what I have. Um, you can also, like I said, you can also uh, cut kind of like a, a half of a circle in paper if you want to as well. So what we're going to do first, um, there are really two steps to this, is the, um, the actual decorating of the, uh, the head. So you can decide what you're going to do. You can either paint it with watercolors, I did mine over here. I used magic markers. You can just decorate it and you can, you, you can use magic markers. You can color it. You can do whatever you want. Um, you can make it really colorful if you want to change up the colors and put different colors on it. I have, now I'm having blue and yellow and I could go on and on and decorate the whole thing, whatever, whatever way you want to do it. You can use crayons if you want. And if you do this, and you, or you paint it with tempera paint, you might have to wait until it dries to do the next part. The next part after you have it all either colored or painted is you're going to put a couple of eyes on your little fish. Actually, it's gonna look kind of like a big jellyfish. And all I did was take some white paper that I had and I made it um, into, a, I cut it into a circle, two small circles. And then I just took a black crayon. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put one eye there the glue on it and another eye here. It's hard to stick it because it's still wet, but you're gonna wait till that dries and then put the eyes on. But he's not done yet, is he? So you wait till it dries. That's what I had to do um, if, with one that I had done with watercolors. And if you do magic markers, you don't really have to wait until it dries, but now you have to find something in your house that you can use to, to make the arms or the tentacles. And what I did when I, when I was doing it, um, I found ribbon. Somebody had um, given me um, a ribbon and so you could take pieces of this. You could use that. You could use tissue paper pieces. Um, if somebody gave you a gift with different t tissue paper and just cut it up a little bit. You can use, I had, some yarn. So you could decide whatever you have. Everybody's might look different depending on what you have in your house. And then all you do is you turn it over. So this is almost dry because I didn't put a lot of stuff on it. You just turn it over on the back like this. Um, if I decided that I was going, oh, even if you have um, garlands left over, paper garlands from from a birthday party, you can use that. 
But say if I was gonna use these tissue paper, and what I would do is I would take some glue, just put a little bit of glue on the back here, and just stick it on and then stick it on again and then stick another one on not perfect I'm just trying to give you an idea and this is another one so you can do what you can make a jellyfish with what whatever you have in um, in your house. You can use um, yarn, newspaper. I mean, there's lots of things. Some people have string. So this is what I did, and I hope that you have fun making your jellyfish at home. Have a great day. Thanks, boys and girls.